Oh no. Was it worth it? <laughs> Wanna go see dinosaurs? Rawr. Say rawr. Give me my zoe bug. It's fake. It's okay. It's a dinosaur! Whoa! Whoa! Come on, let's find some. Search, hurry! You gotta find some gems! Look at Lex, she's trying. She's trying to be like you. Get it! Oh, what have we found? Show what we found. Let's see. <gasps> a polished gem. Oh my goodness, I found one! I'm good at this game. Look, I found another one. No, it's safe up here, come on. Ooh, there's pretty rocks up here. There's pretty rocks, come on. Uh, that dinosaur is dead. What is it? Oh my goodness. It's a dinosaur. Oh, she's shaking. Oh. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Say hi. Oh. Wow, is it cool? <laughs> She's still very worried because she can hear it. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Here, I will protect her. Okay. It's not real. It's us pretend. You want to walk under a dinosaur? Put your hand. Oh, Daddy just walked under him. <gasps> want to go under a dinosaur zoo? You want to touch him? Touch him. Say hi. Yay! Hi. Hi, Zoe. What do you think, Lex? Yeah. It's a dinosaur. You're going to go up that end to the very top of the tree. I'll catch you at the bottom. Where are you? There you are! Oh no. Was that worth it? <laughs> $19 for this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! 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 Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Malfunction. Come on. <laughs> Welcome back YouTube. So today I thought it would be fun. Well, not today, tonight. I figured this is the only time I could do it, but I figured I would do a little Q and A for you all because I get a bunch of questions and a lot of them are the same questions. So I just thought I would go through a bunch of the questions I get and answer those for you all. So one of the questions, my number one question I get all the time is how do you guys do it? The answer to that. So I think it's just one of those things that you just do it. Like you have this situation put in front of you. You have no other option. We wake up every single morning and we have these three babies who need us and Emery who needs us. She's back there. She has a little crap closet back there in our pantry that she likes to play in. So if you hear something back there, it's just Emery. But yeah, so it's just one of those things where we just have these three babies we gotta keep alive every single day that we wake up to and we just do it. We have no other choice, no other option. It's just kind of our norm now too. Like, I think we're just so used to it that we just wake up and do it. But I do love it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, 
I love each little child and baby of mine so much that it's worth everything. It's worth all the hard times, all the happy, like all the happy makes up for the hard. So it's definitely worth it. I also get asked a lot if we have a nanny. The answer to that is no. Um, I am very lucky because Corey, he works from home. And so whenever he's not on a call, Oh, there's our messy pantry. Don't look at that. Yeah, I am super lucky because I do have Corey who works from home. And so whenever he doesn't have a call and he's not super busy, he can be up here helping me, which is super nice. And if not, it is just me. Like when he is busy with work, it's just me and the kids. We do have my mom that is close by. And so she can come over and help. Like if I need to take one to the doctor or something, or if we really need something, she's always here and she can help us out with the kids if I need to go somewhere. But most of the time, yeah, it's just me and Corey or just me. I would say mornings are gener generally when Corey has a lot of work. And so most mornings it is just me and the kids until like 11 or after their nap. So, but we do it and I am trying to get better at going on outings with them and getting out of the house but that is where it gets a little difficult. But that kind of leads to the next question I get all the time, which is, do you guys ever go out and do I ever go out by myself with the kids? Um, I do go out, but usually I prefer to have Corey with me or my mom. So if I go out to a store or something, I make sure I have usually one of them with me. I have gone by myself. We have this little aquarium place that's like right by our house. So I will go out and take the kids all to that because it's close by my house and we have a pass to it. So I don't feel like I have to stay all day, but also if everyone ends up throwing a temper tantrum screaming, I could just hurry and tell Emery like, we got to get out of here and go home. So I will go there by myself. Besides that, I don't go too many places by myself. We'll go for walks all the time and stuff, but when it comes to like going to a store or something, I usually have Corey or my mom with me. Next question I get asked a lot is, are the girls identical? And yes, they are. And also, how do you tell them apart? To us, they look completely different. And there was a point we even questioned if they were identical because to us parents, we think they look so different. But for those who aren't around them all the time, I guess, yes, they look very similar. And sometimes I'll go look back on old pictures and I am confused of who is who. So when it comes to pictures and it's not like the present moment and I go back, look in the past, I think they do look a lot alike. Um, we tell them apart, well, a way you can tell them apart is I think their head shapes are a little different. And then Zoe, she has a little more chunky cheeks than Lexi and Lexi has more squinty eyes, where Zoe's are more open, uh, but that is starting to change. I feel like Lexi's really opening hers big now too. So that doesn't really show a difference anymore. But at the moment, Zoe has slightly more hair, if you look really close, in the back especially. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any other questions, I would love to do another Q&A. So you can just message me through Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Tori Scow. I'll put it below and you can go ahead and follow me on there. Shoot me some questions over there and we can do another Q and A, but thank you guys so much for following and we love you guys and we will see you guys on the next vlog.